Hey guys, Greenbird here. I hope everyone is doing awesome. Uh, here's the $10 Timu knife review that I had mentioned in my last video. Um, honestly, I think you're going to be pretty impressed with the results. Uh, the camera angles are a little bit funky. I'm working on that. I really don't have a great uh, system right now to, uh, to show you anything that's first person view. I'm working on that. Maybe a GoPro or, or something like that. So in the meantime, I have to kind of uh, manipulate the angles and, and try and make everything look flat for you when it's sideways for me. Anyway, let's get to it. We're going to open up this knife. We're going to compare it to another knife. And um, I'll tell you right off the bat, I've already uh, opened up two, two other of these knives. <clears throat> I ordered three. And I'm, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm happy with what I got. And, you know, we'll go into that a little bit later down the road. But let's just, let's just open it up. I did already cut it open just to save some time. So it comes in a pretty generic black box, you know, whatever. Um, let's get the knife out, get all the packaging out of the way, get right to it. So, as you can see, this one that I ordered is in green. Alright, see if I can get you a nice good angle on that. And, um, typical uh, sheath compared to, you know, what we're going to compare this knife to. You've got the holes in there so you can you know, weave it into whatever strapping you might have on your pack. Um, there's also some wider slots here for, you know, maybe some webbing, uh, different types of webbing. This does carry the same uh, carry configuration as uh, the other knife we're going to compare this to. You can carry, carry this on the small of the back using that uh, right there. It also has this loop that unbuckles that you can use to uh, buckle onto like a pack or you know maybe some molly straps or something like that and then of course it has the traditional belt carry and it does come off does come completely I'm not going to take it completely off but you just gonna have to trust me that it, it comes off on um, buttons right there very very um, typical so now let's back it up a little bit and I'll show you the actual knife So, pretty solid knife. It's heavy. It comes sharp out of the box. You know, sharper than I expected. Way sharper than I expected. And this knife is heavier than I expected. This is, I'm guessing this is a full tang. It must be. Um, extremely heavy. Nice rubber grip. With the stippling in there. Feels good in the hand. Um, all in all, I'd say this is a great $10 knife. Uh, you know, you'll hear me throw around the term throwaway knife, and I, I want to kind of, you know, circle back to that and clarify what I mean by that. I don't mean a knife that you're going to use once and throw away because, you know, that's on the ridiculous side of the spectrum. You don't want, you really don't want that. I mean, if you have to, if you have to have something like that and you end up throwing it away, it's not the end of the world. But when I look at a throwaway knife, I want something that, um, I can rely on, but I don't mind if it uh, fails catastrophically, uh, you know, during a, uh, um, an unusual task or, you know, something, a task where I'm asking the knife to perform in a way that might be pushing the boundaries. Those are things I, 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 I don't mind if uh, a cheap knife breaks uh, during, those, during, during those types of uh, activities. But this knife, I, I honestly... <laughs> I'm having a hard time finding any difference between this knife and the one we're about to compare it to. Uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm guessing that if anything's going to be different, maybe this isn't going to hold an edge as long. I don't know. We're going to beat this knife up, and we're going to try and break it in future videos, so we'll see. Now, the knife I'm going to compare this to, we all know and love. This is a Gerber. And uh, you'll have to forgive me. I always forget the exact model of this particular knife. I own half a dozen of them. You'd think I would remember the name by now, but I don't. Um, and this one's in black, obviously. Same configuration, so you can carry it. Zoom in here. You can carry it small of the back if you want, using those that rig right there. And it's got the same... A little too much there, huh? Let's go back. And you, it has the same... Uh, buttons to buckle into webbing or straps on a pack. 
and you can also carry it on your belt. Also comes undone. Um, everything is virtually identical to the best of my ability to be able to discern between the two. It's got the same, you know, holes for different types of strapping and different types of webbing. We'll just let that car pass. And uh, also, let's zoom out a little bit here. We take this out. Nice, nice weight on the hands, feels good. I mean, I'm familiar with these knives, but I'm just trying to give you a, a comparison here. It's good stippling as well. Um, I'd venture to say maybe even the stippling is a little better on the Timu knife, or a little more robust, rather. I don't know about better. Uh, it's about the same, but super sharp. This one here actually hasn't been used. This is one I have in one of my go bags but I've used these to death, so. Uh, let's go ahead and put the two together and see if we can do a quick comparison. And then there's one more test I want to do. So you can see <laughs> these are pretty much identical. Hopefully it's showing up a little bit better for you than me. I don't have the best lighting right now, and I can never see in the viewfinder what you're seeing, so hopefully this is a little bit brighter for you than it is for me. Here's the Timu knife. Here's the uh, Gerber and almost identical. I mean, I can't find any difference other than the lettering. They weigh, they weigh, they must weigh exactly the same. I wish I had brought a scale out to really weigh these out, but even the, the patterns, you can tell that the Timu knife is definitely um, trying to mimic the Gerber knife. Everything is almost identical. <coughs> kind of makes me wonder. Anyway, put my conspiracy theories on the back shelf. One other test I want to do. So here's the Gerber. That comes out. Yeah, so that that comes out a little bit, um, a little bit easier than I would like. It makes me wonder. It's in there all the way. It won't go in any further. All right, I don't love that, but <clears throat> you know, I don't plan on being upside down either. So let's go ahead and try out the. Timu knife. <laughs> Actually, this Timu knife, it holds in the sheath better than the Gerber. I mean, I hate to, it breaks my heart to say there might be something better about the Timu knife, but it clicks in there nicely. And I really, really have to shake it to get it to come out of there. Just to make sure, let's make sure we've got this seated 100% properly. All right. Okay, let's see. There might be a difference here. Nope. I thought maybe the uh, Gerber wasn't as flat as the uh, Timu knife, but it is. And we're going to put it in there. It won't go in any further. It's hitting against the sheath. So, we found one way that the Timu knife is actually better than the Gerber. Huh. Imagine that. Never would have thought that would have come out. Huh. I might have to just test this uh, same experiment on some of my other Gerber knives, identical to this. My, I, I guess I had half a dozen of these. Maybe this one's just a dud, as far as that's concerned. But anyway, there we go. You can see, I'll zoom in, get you as close as I can. Maybe I'll do it this way, I suppose, right? Let's use science to our advantage. And, uh... This is the comparison. Pretty much the same knife. The stippling is a little bit more robust on the Timu knife than it is on the Gerber. I don't know how important that is. I mean, as long as you have a little bit there for grip, that's really all you need. But uh, every other feature is exactly the same. The geometry of the, of the handle and the, the sheath and everything like that. There we go. Is, is identical. Everything's identical. I can't find any difference at all. The only difference I can see is that uh, the Gerber falls out of the sheath when it's shaken a little bit easier, quite a bit easier, than the Timu knife. So that's really interesting. I didn't notice that until I did this video. So. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be more to come. Um, not exactly sure what's on the docket, but I'm going to try and get out to the napping pit today and uh, see if I can 
break some rocks and get some cuts. So anyway, love you all. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And until next time, Greenbird out.